guys. Today I thought it'd be pretty fun and kind of hilarious to go out in my full winter gear because it is very cold out today and do a video about my everyday carry for Alaska. Crazy winter sometimes and <clears throat> just look at my EDC for the month, the very chilly month of February. As always guys, if you want to see more awesome Alaskan crazy content like this, you never know what I'm going to come up with next. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content like this. So guys, as I mentioned in my quite <clears throat> different intro, I'm going to be doing a my EDC update for February on this extremely chilly day. That's why I'm so bulked up, primarily because I'm not really moving around a lot. <coughs> Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into this because it is very cold. So to start off with what's on my neck. I have kind of changed it, and one thing's pretty much always gonna stay the same, but I have changed it just a little bit. And so for my neck, what I'm carrying is the Exotac Nano Striker, the good old Exotac Nano Striker. And next to that, I actually switched up a little bit. I'm now rocking a Browse Blades Silent Soldier V2. Now this is the drop point Silent Soldier, but I'm rocking the Silent Soldier V2. And I'm experimenting around, kind of playing around, as you guys can probably tell with some of my videos coming out around now, that I'm trying out smaller, more easily uh, manageable neck knives, and both Ashley and I are. So we're kind of playing around with different small neck knives, kind of seeing how they work and how they fit into our lifestyle. And I've actually wanted a Browse Blade Silent Soldier for a very long time, really ever since they came out. So I'm kind of excited to finally have one. <coughs> So moving on to wrists and fingers, um, not a whole lot, nothing too new, just a Seiko SNK803 uh, assortment of paracord bracelets. This one is, I believe, Solomon Fire in this particular uh, weave, and then of course my good old C6 or Carbon 6, uh, Carbon Fiber and Silver inlaid ring. So that's what's on my wrists and fingers. Next is my belt and what's on my belt. So once again, rocking the Hanks belt Highland and I kind of use this one in tandem with my click belt, but for the most part I actually like to use the Highland because it's a little bit more comfortable for everyday tasks and just doing things on an everyday basis. So I like to use the Highland quite a bit. Rocking on that Highland is an Uncle Mike's double mag holster. And so I'll generally run this on my left side and have two mags for the Glock. And the Glock, this is a Glock 19 and flat dark earth. I'll get to this in a moment. The holster it's rocking is still yet to be reviewed. I am going to be doing a review on this once it warms up. I'm just doing kind of a special video for today. But once it warms up, I can start making more videos. I'm gonna be doing a review on this BCA uh, by Bravo Concealment. And I love this holster for anyone wondering. It is, as you guys have probably told, can tell, since it's been in like all my EDC updates, this is my go-to holster for the Glock 19. And speaking of the Glock 19, it's still standard just like it was uh, in all my other videos. The only difference you guys can probably notice right about back here is that I did a slight mod to the beaver tail on this handgun. And that was that uh, I like the back straps that you can add to this handgun that come in the box, but <clears throat> The one thing I disliked about the beaver tail extension, while I loved the actual beaver tail itself, I didn't like that it made the hump back here, the Glock hump, even more notable. And so I do like the Glock hump as far as holding the gun goes. I think it's comfortable, but when you add an extension and make this hump even more pronounced, it actually gets a little bit harder to hold on to, especially with gloved hands like these. But what I did was I just took, uh, I have actually, I use like uh, bolt cutters, but I just took those and cut off the uh, back strap portion here and just left the beaver tail. Then I took a Dremel and kind of rounded off where I cut. So it's more of a fluid transition. So now I have the beaver tail, but without the extra hump extension, because I really like how it feels just standard. But at the same time, I really like having that back strap in place. <laughs> so I just did a little bit of customizing to the Glock standard back strap. And I, when I do my review on this knife, or knife, when I do my review on this handgun, I might even do a separate video on this project. But especially when I do, 
a review on this handgun. I'm definitely gonna talk more in length about what I did to the beaver tail or to get the beaver tail without the hump extension. So moving on, <coughs> that's all I have on my um, belt and I like to keep it pretty minimalistic. So moving over to what's in my pockets. So starting off, I think it's pretty appropriate to go with this because this is, since you guys notice, I don't have a Leatherman here, I'm actually running, in fairness, a, a Victorinox Huntsman. And I know there's been a particular guy who's been hounding me for months and months and months and months to actually try a Victorinox. Finally, I'm like, okay, I'll just try it. I'll EDC a Victorinox. Obviously, I have some other stuff here, so I'm not just EDCing a Victorinox, but my, my go-to multi-tool on body is a Victorinox Huntsman. I like the Huntsman because I feel like it has the capabilities that I need the most for EDC and especially for bushcraft. <coughs> so other than that, still rocking the Mech Army SPX-10 and this is my go-to flashlight for nighttime. It's very bright at 1100 lumens. Overall very useful and very usable. So aside from that, I'm now going to take a look at this thing because I want to actually put this back in my pocket so that it doesn't get all froze up. So this is my phone, my go-to phone, the Samsung S7 Galaxy Edge is what this one is. And I'm gonna quickly put this in my pocket before it gets frozen up because they do not like the cold. Okay, so now that that is taken off so that it can kind of warm up, <coughs> we'll continue taking a look at other stuff. So for my writing instruments, I'm actually down a little bit because I do not know where my uh, Fisher Space Pen is. And <clears throat> the Fisher Space Pen clip on that uh, pen in particular started acting up, so I might actually be replacing it soon. But for right now, just have a Sharpie for writing instruments and, <coughs> and yeah. So moving on to other things, I of course have my Psalms, Proverbs, New Testament, Bible here in ACU. Then next to that, of course, in like my kind of coin pocket where I usually carry these two things is I have my coconut and pear, Burt's Bees, uh, lip or chapstick or lip balm and of course my quintessential little Victorinox classic SD. So moving over to other things I have of course obviously a Zippo lighter for the temperatures out here it's very cold you want to be able to start fires very well. Moving over to other things my two primary aside from the browse blades my two primary uh, folder or yeah, folders kind of folders really just pocket knives are the blue handled the Benchmade 556. I actually sold my black handled Benchmade 556 and I was debating whether I really wanted another 556 but I ended up saying that I, I do like these knives though my uh, original review was a little bit negative of them. I do love these knives a lot especially for the outdoors so I have a I decided to get a really, really bright blue handled 556 because these are actually kind of rare and I really like the way this one looks. And then I put a Benchmade bug out uh, pocket clip on it for ease of carry. And I actually like the bug out clip a little bit more on the mini grip because the mini grip, uh, it with the Adamus clip, the Adamus clip was meant for a full sized folder. So it was always a little bit big. But what I like about the uh, bug out clip is that it's a smaller clip, kind of like a miniature deep carry clip. So I think it suits the mini grips overall size a lot better, but it still gives you that depth of carry that the Adamus clip had. So I'm really digging that clip. And <clears throat> anytime I mod out a smaller knife for custom Benchmade clips, I'm definitely gonna go for the bug out clip. Then lastly in this collection, but certainly not least, is my defensive knife. And you guys will notice this one has a little bit stronger spring, so it deploys out here in the very cold. It's been sitting here, okay. Still has a little bit of an issue if you keep playing with it, but it does deploy, you guys can see that, many times, and it's just been sitting out here on this table all while I've been talking. But anyways, this is my primary defensive knife, and this is a Microtech Ultratech, and you guys can probably tell it's a little bit different. I've shown this in a few other videos, but this one has a fully serrated top blade and a fully unserrated bottom blade. It is a double-edged dagger. And this is just like my other blue one in the fact that it's tri-grip pattern. So when you hold this thing, it's not gonna pop up or pop out of your hands. It's not gonna do what you don't want it to do. 
but in the same way it will do exactly what you want it to. So this is my basically my second defensive option for in case I'm not allowed to have my handgun in an EDC environment, like if I have to just go into a place or go into college, stuff like that that I do still very frequently. So if I have to go to a place like my college, and I'm not allowed to carry my handgun, but I need something very defensive, I go over to my Ultratech, my Microtech Ultratech with the double-edged dagger. And you guys can see, like I said, it's deploying pretty well. It's not the exact best. You can see that it deploys just fine like that. And uh, no, no issues with the blade. The blade's not, you know, like <clears throat> falling back into the handle. And once again, very capable knife for defensive situations because it is a double-edged dagger. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here because that is the look at my entire February EDC and it's cold and I wanna get back inside. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at what I carry for the month of February and you kinda like this setup. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.